Within this example, we want to see how we can use properties of right triangles to solve unknowns. And one property that we're going to be concentrating on is that the midpoint of the hypotenuse is equidistant to the vertices of the triangle. So if we take a look at the figure on the right hand side, the midpoint of the hypotenuse can be seen as point Z in the diagram, which we have it here. So remembering that fact, let's go back and let's try to think about how we can solve the unknowns. So let's concentrate on example A. Here, we are given some information, and that is that YZ has a value of 8.25, which we can find in here. And what we want to find the value of is XZ, which we can find it here. Notice that if we concentrate on those two highlighted sections, we can see that the green line is the distance from the midpoint to the vertice, and the purple line is the distance from the midpoint of the hypotenuse to the vertices as well. And thanks to the property that we remember, then we know that those two sections are congruent to each other. And if that is the case, then we are done, because we can say that xz has a value of 8.25. Now let's take a look at the next example. Let's take a look at example B. Within this example, we know that xz, which you can find it here, has a value of 12.5. And what we want to find information of is the length of wy, which you can find here. Now let's think about it. Is there any relationship between the purple line and the green line? Well, there is. Because if z is equidistant to point y, point w, and point x, then therefore, zx is going to be half the distance from wy. And now that we have that relationship, then it's just a matter of plugging in our values. xz is 12.5, 1 half, and wy is the unknown. So the only thing that we got to do here is to multiply by 2 on both sides. And now we got our result. Wy is equivalent to 25. Now let's consider the last example here, example C. So we are given certain information, and that is that angle 1 has a length of 30 degrees, which you can find it here. And what we want to find information of is the value for angle 2 and angle 3, which you can find it here. So now again, we want to go back to the property that we know here. We know that the midpoint is equidistant to all the vertices. Which again, we're saying that point Z is equidistant to point W, point Y, and point X. So if that is the case, then we know that WZ is congruent to ZW, which is congruent to ZX. And if that is the case, then notice that here we have an isosceles triangle. And if that is an isosceles triangle, then notice that angle 1 is going to be congruent to angle 2. And if that is the case, knowing that angle 1 is of 30 degrees, then therefore angle 2 is of 30 degrees as well. Now to find out the value of angle 3, well, we can see that there's a relationship in here. And that is that if we add angle 3 and we add angle 2, we're going to get a value of 90 degrees. But notice that we know what angle 2 is. Angle 2 is 30. If we take away 30, then now we know that angle 1 is equivalent to 60 degrees. Hello. If you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.